Hello, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and once again, we are talking math. Uh, we are starting the fourth unit of study in our everyday math series, uh, dealing with larger multiplication. Uh, today, we are in our math journals on pages 105 and 106, uh, unit four, lesson one. Uh, on page 105, it's entitled Multiplying Ones by Tens and Hundreds. So let's jump right into it. And you might notice this uh, fact family triangle. You might remember it from previous lessons and uh, previous years. We've used fact family triangles to help us with our addition and subtraction facts, and now we're going to use them to help us remember our multiplication and division facts. Now this fact family triangle involves two, three, and six. Two and three are our factors, and they are always found at the bottom. And our product is always at the uh, peak of our pyramid here, at the top of the triangle. Uh, so when I multiply 2 times 3, I get a product of 6. So 6 is my product. 2 and 3 are my factors. Now what we're doing today is we are extending those facts by thinking about tens. So when I multiply 2 times 3, I know I'm going to get 6. But if I add a 0 behind the 2, what that gives me is 2 groups of 10, otherwise known as 20. And when I multiply 20 times 3, I do the same calculations as I would with 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And in order to solve this problem, I just have to add an extra 0 behind product of 6, making it 6 tens, otherwise known as 60. So then what you're going to do is extend that uh, fact again by multiplying two groups of 100 times 3, or 200 times 3, and in order to solve that, all you have to do is multiply 2 times 3, which gives you 6, and then you're going to add the two zeros from 200 behind the 6, giving you, that's right, 600. So if you know that 2 times 3 equals 6, then you can solve any of these iterations uh, that involve zeros. Okay, now again, involving zeros uh, just requires us to think about different place values, 2 tens, 2 hundreds, and so forth. So let's take a look at this set of facts, 6, 8, and 48. So 6 times 8 gives us 48. That's the original fact. So I take my two factors, 6 and 8, and I multiply them together to get my product of 48. Now, the challenge is to extend the fact. Now, I can do that a number of ways. I can make one uh, of my factors, a group of 10, like say 60. 60 times 8 is going to give me the same product as 6 times 8, just with an extra 0. 60 times 8 is going to give me 48 tens, otherwise known as 480. Now I can do another iteration. Iteration is a fancy way of saying another uh, version. I can take the 6 and leave it as is, and then add my 0 behind the 8. 6 times 80. 6 times 80 is going to give me the same product as 60 times 8, because the uh, whole digit numbers are still the same. We're just dealing with different place values. 480 or 48 tens. And again, boys and girls, as you probably recall, uh, multiplication is just repeated addition. So if I'm adding uh, 6 to itself 8 times, that's 6 times 8. Or if I'm adding 8 to itself 6 times, that's 8 times 6. So if I were to demonstrate that addition problem, 6 groups of 8 added together would give me 48. So if I just extend that 
fact family uh, into making them eight tens, like so. I'm going to get the same result just with an extra zero behind it. So when I'm adding 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80, I'm just going to bring down the zeros. And then add 8 plus 8, that's 16, plus another 8, that's 24, plus another 8, that is 32, plus another 8, that's 40, plus one more 8, gives me 48, 48 tens, otherwise known as 480. So with each of these fact triangles on page 105, you're just going to write down the original fact, and then you're going to... Uh, add a zero either behind one factor or another to give you an extended fact. Okay. Number four asks you what rule can you use to multiply ones by ten such as thirty times six. Well the rule is if I add a zero behind one of the factors I'm going to add a zero behind the product. Number five asks, what rule can you use to multiply ones by 100, such as 300 times 6? Okay, well, let's explore that, shall we? If 3 times 6 equals 18, which is true, comma, then... Three hundreds, because that's what three with two zeros is really all about. It's three hundreds, or three group of hundreds, times six. We'll give you eighteen hundreds. One thousand eighteen with one two zeros behind it. Okay. Now then, let's take a look at one oh six real quickly. So if I can add one or two zeros behind one factor, I can add zeros behind both factors to extend some multiplication facts. Take for example three times five. Well three times five gives me fifteen, of course. So if I multiply three tens times five tens, otherwise known as 30 times 50, all I do is I take my original fact, three times five is 15, and then I count and collect the zeros. So there's one zero in 30, and there's one zero in 50, so I have to make sure I have one, two zeros in my product. 15 with two zeros is known as 1,500 or 1,500. So when I have that equal sign, right, that's called an equation, okay? Both sides have to be equal, okay? And if both sides have to be equal, that means that I have to have an equal number of zeros on both sides of the equation. So if there are two zeros represented on the left, there must be two zeros represented on the right. So, for example, 4 times 6 is 24. Write that here. 4 times 6 gives me 24. I could extend this fact by making it 4 tens, otherwise known as 40, times 6 tens, also known as 60, and it's still going to give me 24 as my whole number product. I just have to include the extra zeros. So there's one, two zeros on the left side of my equation. So there's one, two zeros going to end up on the right side. So 24 hundreds. And that, boys and girls, is pretty much all there is to it. 
if you can just keep track of the zeros in play with each of these multiplication problems, then uh, you'll be able to uh, extend those multiplication facts with little to no trouble. Okay. If you do have questions, though, um, please talk to your math teachers. They are happy to help you. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks, friends.